My fellow South Africans, the scenes that we've seen unfolding in KwaZulu-Natal and the Gauteng province over the last 24 hours have no place in any democratic rules-based society. And decisive and strong action is now required to deal with this scourge of looting and criminality that we've seen. Essentially, what has been allowed to happen is an internal ANC fight has now been able to spill out onto the streets of South Africa. The time for dithering and prevarication is now over, and it is time now for the president to match his strong words last night with strong action on the ground today. To this end, the Democratic Alliance has made a number of suggestions. First of all, we believe that the deployment of the SANDF into the hotspot areas is now required. It is very clear in places in KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng that the South African police service have lost control of law and order and have lost the initiative against the looters. This has left many private citizens stepping into the breach and this is going to be a recipe for disaster. It is absolutely essential that the SANDF assist the SAPS to start to cordon off areas, to start to restore public law and order in these areas. This is provided for in the Constitution, and although it's not ideal, it is the, what is required on the ground right now. We need to get the situations under control. Secondly, we've called on the President to convene a meeting of all opposition political party leaders in South Africa so that we can make input and he can take us into the confidence of what is required to ensure that we can get this done. Thirdly, the President needs to convene a meeting of the National Joints so there can be a coherent strategy to deal with the scourge across the country. It is very clear that uh, thanks to a complete failure of domestic intelligence that the police were completely unprepared for this situation and that is why they've lost the initiative. Finally, uh, we believe that Parliament should be reconvened to discuss this issue and to make sure that there is sufficient funding provided for the SNDF and the South African Police Service personnel to be able to restore law and order. We cannot live in a society where the rule of the mob is what prevails at the end of the day. We must uphold the rule of law, we must ensure that we protect lives and livelihoods, and we must make sure that we protect our fragile economy from this full frontal assault. This is not what the President described yesterday evening as sporadic, and it is not something that is ethnic based. It is now spilled over far wider than that, and it requires strong and decisive action. If there is a vacuum of leadership, this is precisely what happens. Now is the time for strong and decisive leadership, and we stand ready to play our role in ensuring that we can restore law and order to South Africa and ensure that our democratic future and our economy is sustained and flourishes.